Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to explain how to find the length of segment OP in the diagram shown. So AB is tangent to circles OP at points AB respectively. If AO is 5 centimeters and BP is 3 centimeters and AB is 16 centimeters, what is the number of centimeters in the length of OP? So I've marked the given values said in the diagram so we can solve this problem. The first thing before we do this problem is we should mark the intersection point right here as point R. So if we know that that's point R, we can look at the diagram and we can see two triangles. We can see triangle AOR and we can see triangle PBR. And we can prove that these are similar triangles. And why these are similar triangles is one, we know that these two angles right here are vertical angles, which means that they are congruent. We can say that these two angles are congruent and they are right triangles right angles because one, the problem said that the line is tangent to both circles and these radius points here. And because they are, and they're not overlapping the circle, we can say that they're right angles. So I'll also mark that they're right angles here. And then we can say that angle O is congruent to angle B because if you were to add up all the angles given subtracted by and subtract that by 180, you would get that O and P are congruent. So now that we've proved that both triangles are similar, we can find the ratio between those two triangles. So let's, let me first draw the triangles on the side. This will be triangle AOR and this triangle will be triangle PBR. So in, in the problem, it mentioned that OA is five centimeters and BP is three centimeters. That's also the basis of those triangles. So we can add that to our drawing on the side. Here's five, here's three. Here are the points that make up the triangle also. So because we know both of the bases are five and three, we can find the ratio between those. Five to three it cannot be simplified, so that's our ratio. This is the ratio of our whole triangle if we were to apply it to every single side. So now that we have our ratio, we can find out the height of both triangles. We can find RA and RB. Now, it might be a little tricky, but we have, we know that AB is 16 centimeters right here. And AB can, is made out, made out points and segments AR and RB. If you were to add those two, you would get 16. Now, AR is also the height of this triangle, and RB is the height of this triangle. And because we know the ratio between those two triangles, we can simply plug in and make an algebraic equation. So, AR in our equation can be x, and RB can be x times three-fifths, because if you were to do five here, so five times three-fifths, you'd get 15 over five is equal to three. You would get this value right here. So that's the three is three-fifths of five. So that's why we're putting three-fifths right there. And then we get 16. So here's our algebraic equation. All we have to do is solve the equation. So we can subtract x on both sides, we get 
3x, I'm just grouping these two terms right here, 3x over 5 is equal to 16 minus x. Then you can do 3x is equal to 80 minus 5x. Let's just bring the equation over here because I've run out of room. And then we divide by 3 both sides. Actually, no, we add 5x five on, five on both sides. We get 8x is equal to 80, then x equal to 10. So now that we know x is 10, x was originally AR. So AR is also the height of the triangle AOR. So x is also just 10 because we solved the equation. Now earlier I mentioned that in the ratio, three is three-fifths of five. So because we know how the difference between those two points, we can use this fraction right here, multiply that by 10 to find out our height of triangle PBR. So 10 times three-fifths, 30 over five, which is six. So we now know also the length of RB. And we can even check to make sure our algebraic equation is accurate by doing 10 plus six, which was our two values here that we solved for, which equals 16, which is right here. So we know that we've done our math correctly. Let me erase the work here. So now that we know our height two, so let's, mark that on the diagram. We know that this is 10 and this is 6. We can find out the hypotenuse of both triangles because we did prove earlier that both triangles are right triangles. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now to solve for the hypotenuse of triangle AOR, A can be five, and then B can be 10, and then C can be X, our unknown value. Five squared is 25, 10 squared is 100, which is equal to X squared. So 125 is equal to X squared. If we do the square root of 125, we get the simplified radical of 5 square root 5. So let's just mark that on the diagram right here. We can do the same thing to triangle PBR using the same formula right here. So 3 squared plus 6 squared is equal to x squared. 3 squared is 9, 6 squared is 36 is equal to x squared. 9 plus 36 is 45, which equals x squared. So the square root of 45 comes to the simplified radical of 3 square root 5. I'll also mark that on the diagram right here. And the reason we're finding the hypotenuses is because in the diagram you can see that a, o, a, not a, OP is made up of segment OR and RP. And RP is the hypotenuse of triangle AOR. And RP is the hypotenuse of triangle PBR. Now that we've solved for both values, we can add them up to find the value of OP. So OR is 5 square root 5, and RP is 3 square root 5, and because they're both square roots of 5, we can just add their beginning numbers right here. We get 8 square root 5, and that is our final answer. Let me write that down in a little bigger right here. 8 square root five centimeters is our final answer. I hope this video helped you understand how to do this tricky problem. 
It's pretty easy once you understand the fact that triangle AOR and PBR are similar triangles. Once you understand that, everything should be pretty easy from there. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day.